is the every morning struggle. I'm trying to get out the door. Why do you have mommy's coat, Talia? Leave my baby alone. Just, just Hush, meanie. How are you being a potty waddy? What's the word, old man? Daddy, I'm gonna catch a leopard time. Look, my leopard time catch a peek inside. Russia was attacked. I thought Korea was attacking Russia. No, Russia's trying to attack Ukraine. Why? Because they want to take over Ukraine. What well, the president does, not they. That's stupid. It's a commercial that says, like, you know the commercial that says Ukraine and the two little pe the two people with the baby in their hand? I want to watch that commercial. I want to see what it's all about. Jeremy, what? <laughs> come here. You're going to come here. Let me see. Hey, <laughs> right, can you have the coffee on? I'll get back. Come on now. All right, get your coat on. We have a lot of fidgeting to do today, so yeah. And that's all. I don't care about fidgeting. Let's go. How about some Dirk and a little baby? Yeah. 409, Jesus. No! Oh my lord. So I just dropped the girls off at school. The boys already went. But since I'm here stuck at this train, uh, I don't really know why I'm filming this. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little burnt out of the, you know, the typical tech camera videos and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, I'm always gonna do them, but right now, um, I'm just in a space where I'm kind of just tired of it, man. I'm tired of the back and forth with brands. I'm tired of the politics. Um, so part of me kind of, I guess, getting out of that is just vlogging and bringing y'all into my lifestyle. So I'm gonna start doing this a lot more, uh, even if there's nothing major that happened or nothing exciting. I'm just gonna put it out there anyways, just to kind of bring y'all into the life of Terry Warfield and what it looks like. So I guess the train is over with, but yeah, I guess we'll see where this video goes. You're a real MVP. I can't believe gas is $4.09 a gallon. Ain't that wild? Mm-hmm. How you feel about that? Oh, you don't care, huh? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, you don't? Why don't you care? Because what are you going to do about it? There's a lot you could do about it. Like what? Walk? I didn't say walk. Exactly. There's so you're going to pay the gas price. The limit. Let me get my coffee. Come on. Say please. Please, can I have my coffee? Thank you. I don't know how some of y'all don't drink coffee, but look, the ZV-1, I love this camera. I wanted to point this out real quick because um, anytime my kids are around, or if I'm out like running and gunning, I'm taking them back and forth to school, headed to a job or whatever. I like to take the ZV-1. It's not the best image quality. Stabilization could use a little work. It's not wide enough, so you know it's not the best for vlogging, but in a pinch, like the video quality and stuff out of this is amazing. You can just pull it out, the microphone is decent, get your shot, put it back in. So anytime my kids are around, I'm using the ZV-1. But since the kids are gone and I'm sitting here stationary, you know I'm gonna bring out my bigger camera. So anyways, I have a lot to do today mostly admin stuff i know i got to get my benefit situation together since i got fired the whole video is right up there but um i got to get the benefit situation together i got to start getting my tax situation together uh, because taxes are about to be doing all that stuff and uh a lot of y'all been asking like what i've been doing since getting fired well majority of my time is consumed by editing for myself and also um, i do edit for another client and that workload is pretty you know it's a lot of editing involved so that takes up a lot of my time but in addition to that been a full-time dad it's always stuff going on with the kids sports going on on weekends during the day they got to go back and forth to practice back and forth to work etc man it's always hectic so this morning i'm going to take this opportunity to sit here i'm about to watch the stock market for a little bit because uh, i am trying to get like really well versed in the stock market and start getting my ad man stuff <clears throat> all done today we was gonna go to breakfast but honestly i just got too much stuff to do this morning so yeah none of this stuff is exciting so i'll just see y'all later 
real quick, my dude Abe is on the way over here. He got some of my lenses. I'm about to surprise this guy with this right here. It's a Zeppelin II motorized slider. You know why I'm blessing him? Because a friend of mine blessed me with that slider over there, which is a little bit more fancy. So I'm about to pay it for it. So we're about to go ahead and hook him up with this when he get here. I kind of told him about it already, but I don't think he's expecting it today. But even if it is, pay it forward, y'all. Hey, bro, where's my kit lens at, man? I told you to bring my kit lens back. You don't even need it no more. Give me my damn kit lens. <laughs> you don't even need it. Here you go, sir. What's this? The slide that I told you I was gonna get. That's what that is? No, that's what that is. What's your point? I've been, I've been vlogging, man. I've been recording everything. So you might, look, I finally got my lenses back that I've been waiting on for six months. Thank you for giving me my shit back. Man. Oh, <laughs> what up, y'all? Hey, so it's leg day, right? Uh, which means I need something with some energy, probably some fruit or something like that. Something with some uh, good carbs for me to fuel up and get this leg day popping off. Uh, real quick, something I wanted to tell y'all is when you work for yourself, uh, one thing that's very important is discipline. So I know it's easy, like when you work for yourself to not get up every day and go do what it takes. But, you know, I don't let myself just because I work for myself. Now, I don't let myself sleep in till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. No, I'm up every single morning at the same time as if I got a job to go to. And I keep that mentality because uh, I don't want to get comfortable. I don't want to get complacent with the fact that I have all of this free time now. So I still get up and grind it out as if I had to go to work. The only difference is I'm working on the stuff that's making me money that's not from an employer. And that's dope to me. So anyways, the wife has a meeting for her Instagram deal. She was about to lock up at 2 30 she normally picks the kids up from school but i think i gotta do it today so i still gotta get the rest of this editing done i still gotta hit the gym i gotta do some stuff when i get off and i gotta pick up the kids so this is like my moment of silence because it's about to get real hectic in here i have to cut the apples up because i can't bite in the apples because that mess hurts way too much so pre-workout, apples and water. I just got word that she is going to pick them up from school, so I ain't got to, but this is the other half of my pre-leg day lunch, a pack of tuna fish. So apples and a pack of tuna fish, and you know I gotta have my pre-workout coffee. Hey, <laughs> it's disgusting. It's not only to make an entire team believe that you're nasty. That's disgusting. Why are you, why are you drinking out of a measuring cup? Huh? Why are you drinking out of a measuring cup? I don't know. What, what's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with you? Why you go every day too? Come here, man. I got to see everybody else. Don't be mean to me. No. So what's up? Different hairstyles. No more running, right? Baby. It's time to make coffee. Pre-leg day workout. And then I have to pick my stepdaughter up from work. And then I now have a job that just got loaded. Well, we'll be getting loaded while I'm at the gym. It's about to be an all night editing flight tonight. But you know, gotta do what you gotta do. from the gym I am whooped but side note I did clean my desk earlier let me show y'all all cleaned up no junk I want to say this real quick because uh, I think this is important so the reason why I go to the gym like even though it sucks it's painful today was leg day I could barely walk I just feel like anytime you purposely 
put yourself through something difficult. Don't get me wrong, like we all have to go through troubling times, hard times, and we have to cope. But I'm saying anytime you purposely put yourself through something that's hard, like working out continuously, like getting up off the couch where you could just be sitting around, being lazy, enjoying your day, but you go into the gym, that does a lot for your psyche. That that really strengthens who you are as a person. I feel like I feel like it builds character. And if you'll intentionally go to the gym to make yourself do something hard with the expectation that if I do this enough times, I'll achieve my body goal, then you'll do that in anything else in life. So uh, that's why I continue to go to the gym, even though sometimes I don't want to. Sometimes I feel like I don't have the time. But anyways, so I know this wasn't the most exciting day. Um, I just picked Kaeja, but she never wants to be on camera. That's the oldest. Um, and I think I still got to read with the girls, but my client just uploaded this video that needs to be edited and it's a deadline for tomorrow morning so it's about to be an all night flight so wifey might have to read with the girls all right i gotta be quiet because everybody is asleep because it is 1 in the freaking morning 1 in the morning and I'm just getting done with this edit and I got to get up at what 6:45 so you know it's grind life um I know today wasn't really all that exciting I kind of said that before and don't get me wrong there's very exciting days but today just isn't one of them but I'm not about to sit here and make it seem like every day is just exciting sunshine and roses because the life of a you know content creator editor father sports dad husband all that stuff like sometimes it's pretty mundane uh, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. So, uh, make sure you subscribe. If you have not subscribed already, there will be way more vlogs coming. And um, I think that's it. So, I'm about to get out of here. Peace and chicken grease, Terry Warfield. Peace.